Mr Chan also revealed other support measures for students. Now, they include reducing the number of topics for year-end examinations, bringing back co-curricular activities, as well as providing enhanced training in mental health for all teachers. Tan Sehui with this report. No amount of words can describe our shock and grief. An emotional speech by Education Minister Chan Chun Singh in Parliament as he recounted the immediate aftermath of the tragedy. A caring actions in response to an emergency or care post was set up a day after the incident to provide psychological support for students and staff. Mr Chan also met with 350 principals from primary schools to junior colleges to discuss the situation. Moving forward, he says the overall ecosystem of support needs to be strengthened. We want to create more time and space for students to pursue experiences that broaden their emotional and psychological horizons and strengthen their resilience. To this end, we want to work with parents and community groups to establish a caring and enabling society that gives greater attention to the well-being of our young. First, all teachers will receive enhanced professional development on mental health literacy. He says it will help identify students in need. 1,000 teacher counsellors will also be deployed in the next few years, an increase from the current 700. Next, co-curricular activities for secondary schools and pre-universities will resume as more students complete vaccination. Plans are being put together on how CCAs can be conducted safely amid the pandemic. More time will also be dedicated to check in on students' well-being at the start of every school term. And finally, to relieve revision load and exam stress, common last topics will be removed from this year's GCE O, N and A level exams. Currently, they've been removed from the primary school leaving examination. All schools will also reduce the scope for year-end exams.